after 9-11, after the anthrax, after H1N1, H5N1, um, after SARS, you know, we've had a decade of dramatic, powerful challenges come at us in terms of unforeseen threats um, that were a direct threat to the American people as well as the world's population that um, uh, we invested in building up those capacities at the CDC, at the Department of Defense, in the state and municipal authorities that are responsible for detection and response. We built up the science. We built up the laboratory capacity. We built up the communications. We've built up the systems that are needed in order to bring about a swift and timely response. We've built up the relationships with the corporate sector. The corporate sector in all of this, the, the, the business community, is absolutely vital to success. They're the ones that have to invest in the vaccines, build the capacity, have the capacity to respond and produce those vaccines quickly. They are the ones that have to produce the antivirals that are responsive to a specific pathogen that emerges suddenly that we did not see before. So you have to have them in in a very complicated partnership. And I think we've made huge strides in the last decade in building up those systems and building up those partnerships and building up that confidence level that, um, that we can respond. And just, you know, the, the, the outbreak um, of, of the um, uh, uh, avian flu, uh, the outbreak of the um, uh, other flus that we've seen, they've surprised us. You know, they've come not from Asia, they come from Mexico. They've come from our backyard. They're sometimes, you know, SARS emerged in Hong Kong. Um, so we, we, we are a lot smarter today, I think, than we, are, than we were uh, earlier. Um, but it also is a challenge. There is an enormous challenge in sustaining the financing, sustaining the political will and interest in these, because these threats come and go. And when they've subsided, we forget the need for that capacity.